All right, welcome to Weebly, the basics. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to go through some of these things in the dashboard one more time. Then we're going to create a site, and I want to show you how easy it is to create the site and how to publish it with students. All right, real quick, I'm just going to go through here. This is your dashboard. I just want to make sure you guys remember this. Uh, this tab is going to be for your students. We, we did that in the first video. You'll find your students here. If you click on account, you're going to see all the general settings and, and settings for your account that you can change here. And I wanted to point this out, is the support. Uh, there's lots of support here, a lot of questions answered that you can get if you get stuck or these videos uh, don't do it all for you. You can check here and uh, get some help. Alright, uh, what I'm going to do now is go to the main purpose of this site, which is to add sites and build sites with, with your students. All right, uh, this this layout here, first of all, is the same as what your students will see when they log in. They'll add a site just like this. They've got an add site button just like you do. First thing it's going to ask for you to do is to enter a title. So I'm just going to put test site here. You can also put the type of site. You don't have to put those things, but you can if you want to. This is important. This is the subdomain. This is going to be what the internet address is going to be for the site. Your students have this option too. And so if they're creating a site for themselves, they want to think about what is something unique that they want to put here. Um, for me, I'm just going to put teacher tech vids. Hopefully that's available. It is. And uh, once this site gets published, that's what the address will be, teachertechvids.weebly.com. There are other ways to do that, too. Um, we'll talk about those and beyond the basics. All right, once your uh, site is set up, it's all very simple. It is very drag and drop and your kids will figure this out with no problem whatsoever. But let me just give you some of the highlights here. Uh, it gives you this blank page and you're going to drag what's called elements into here. That could be anything that's on the page. So if I want a paragraph for the title, you just drag it down here, it puts in the box, start typing. Type as best as you can. <laughs> and uh, when you click off of it, it'll show you what it'll look like whenever it's, it's live. So it's very much what you see is what you get. If I want a picture in here, I just drag the picture box. Click here, I can choose a picture from the computer, photo gallery, the internet. Um, another thing that I want to make sure that I point out, whenever you click inside the boxes, you'll probably see these bars come up that are specific to each element. So if I want to add a border, if I want to add color, position, um, each element has a different box. So you can see here in the text box, it's got the same kind of things that students are used to, creating links, changing fonts, and things like that. You can also do column layouts, which is handy. So if I want to do a two-column page, just bring the columns down here, and then whatever I've got on my page, I can just drag right into each column. It slides it in there and organizes it for you. So again, all very drag and drop, very simple, very easy. The next thing I want to show you for sure is the design. These are the different designs that you can use. Um, these are all really good designs. You'll want to let your kids, uh, you know, give, give them some choice here and some details as far as what they want their site to look like. So you can check out the different designs. There's a bunch of them in here. Um, you can customize those designs by going to design options where you can change the fonts and the font sizes and the text and stuff like that. So that's definitely something that's really easy to do. Drag and drop, click and edit. Another part that your students can do is add pages. Now the one difference here is when it, with the teacher account, you can add a bunch of pages. So if I want to add, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten pages, I can. The students can only add five pages total. And so that's going to be their entitled, uh, their total for their site is five pages. On each new page, you can give it a title. If you want to do it about me page, etc., etc. Um, there's some options here that you can look through in the advanced settings. This gives you some of the advanced things that you can do as far as people searching for your site. Uh, make sure you save the settings. And once you're in the, that pages thing, once you have them done, you can see it automatically puts the navigation up here. So you don't have to fool with the navigation. Um, again, very simple, very straightforward. You can also, if you want to, drag and drop where you want these pages to go. See, I just did put this one up here. You can also put it as a sub page. I'll just show you what that looks like real quick. 
So when I come to this page, now I've got a little pop-out here about me. So you can do some organization there. All right, the last thing I want to show you in this basics video is how to publish your site. Um, so you've got the basics, you've got some pages, you've had your kids create your site, and now you just want to publish it. Uh, you click on this publish button. Again, it asks you about the subdomain. If you want to keep what you had before, you just hit continue. And then it publishes it, just like that. And so if I go to teachertechbiz.weebly.com, I'm going to put it in a new tab, you can see exactly what my site's going to look like. Pretty bare right now, huh? So that's it. It's very simple. Teachertechbids.weebly.com. Your kids can have their own subdomain, which is really cool. And it's really easy for them to create. All right. Well, in the next video, I'm going to get back here to my dashboard, hit close. In my next, next video, I'm going to teach you some more of the uh, more advanced things, embedding files, how to edit the HTML, um, how to add students in a mass way so that you don't have to click through each one. And that will be the next video, which is called Beyond the Basics. Mm -hmm.